Okay, today I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the John Deere garden tractor and the Ford. So, the first thing I'm going to show you is the ramps for loading that into there. So, you can lower the bed, or lower the tag gate, which also you can do by X, if you just... Um, so you press this, and that'll slide out you some ramps. And you just get on a little lawnmower. Drive forward. Not drive forward, I guess. Drive back. Whatever you're going to do. However you need to load it. And you just kind of find your... Kind of get lined up. And then just kind of load it into the bed. Um... Yes, I know fifth wheel. There's a fifth wheel in this bed, and like it's probably not very smart to. But yeah, then you just strap it down. Press. Yes, the sliding issue is not fixed. I found a slight fix to it that stops it. It doesn't fix it, but it resolves a tiny bit of it. So, that's as good as it's going to get. But, the interior is pretty basic. It's just, um, pretty basic. And then it has openable hood, as it did in 19, and so did Retro's crew cab. To reveal what is, is kind of a mix between a 6.9 liter and a gas. Because it has, like, a 6.9 air cleaner but it has a distributor. And it is not near the displacement of 6.9 is. But that's a different thing. Um, it's It's got these. These tires on this config. Just shut the door. It's... Um, okay. So, now I'll get into the store section of this. The main focus is the the truck. For now, the mower. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a lesser just side project. Um, but anyway, you have beds. You have stock bed and then the flat bed. The flat bed, duly only. Not my problem. Um, steps. You have stock side steps, which is just back to the cab. Stock to rear fender, which is just back to the cab. Stock to dually. Now that, you have to have a dually wheel selected for that to work. You have homemade steps, and then you have classic steps, which is these. Um, so, F-250 on this one, and only F-350. You have your stock mirrors, your west coast mirrors, and then your big mirrors. You have 80 to 81, 80 to 82, which is the big differences front end. Um, then you have your grab rails, which are what you use to grab onto to get in the truck. You have your bug visor, which just says Cowboy Cadillac. Um, you have a small toolbox, which... Meh. You have a cam locker toolbox and a weather guard toolbox. Then you have a single rear wheel tool, single rear wheel mud flap, a dual rear wheel mud flap. Of course, you have to have dually for those, or for the dually. Um, for ranch guards, you have a little front guard, like that. Um, for hitches, you have the drop ball hitch, the trailer hitch, the panel hitch, and then back to the drop ball. And then for engines, it's on just this one, you have the 6.9 V8 automatic, 4-speed, and the 5-speed. Now, the gears are different. You can actually shift it. Um, for the wheels, you have these just basic wagon wheels, I think is what they are. Stock wheelies, these... <clears throat> mm, sorry, these are, they're just basic, and then you have 89 wheels, is what I refer to these as, because the reason they say that is because I was told at first that they were only on brick noses, and I learned that they were on bull noses, I don't know, it's a whole story, and then you have Dooley 2, which is just those, and then you have Steel with dog dish hubcaps and two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive. Oh, um, and you can kind of see it here. The f 
You know what? Uh, 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 I'll just buy a two-wheel drive and a four-wheel drive so I can show you. But you have your back, back rack now, which... Oh, no lights. Yikes. We don't talk about those. Um, yeah, bed rails. Which, yes, or four toolbox. And then you have your plow mount, which you can hook a little fisher plow or something like that to the front. Then you have a visor, which is just a little lund visor. A racer back. I, it's either a racer back or a fast back. I don't know which it is. It's one of the two. And you have your bed attachers. This is for these. You have your gooseneck, and then you have your fifth wheel. You have your gooseneck for the EBY flatbed, and your fifth wheel for the EBY flatbed. And then now, we get into why I selected these steps. You have your classic steps trim. You can get running lights, or you can get a black stripe, or you can get both. If you, if you want to. You can get a topper cap, which is this. It doesn't exactly line up with the cab, because it's off of another mod, but... It lines up good enough that I would say it's okay. So, yeah. And then you have a set of ramps. These do not appear. They are under the bed. And then those are what you saw me load them over with. And then you have your paints. Yay. My personal favorite color configuration for the single rear wheel is this. And then just... Uh, 250 West Coast um, mud flaps. Not one of those, but yeah, this. I I like that. That's my personal favorite configuration, though. Um, and then you can get, and then this is another one. But it's enough of that. So now I'll just buy this one, and then I will buy this one. Okay, so now we'll walk over, and I'll show you more features. Uh. Shush. Camera FOV set 30. GS HUD visibility. Okay, so. Can't see it there either. Give me a second. I don't know a way to see it. It's a little fast, or a little um, accelerating. Okay, see, it has the the little front transfer case over here. If you get this one, oh Jesus, it's it's a little fast. Or a little, or a little quick accelerating. This one, just hop out. It has just a straight, straight front axle. The reason I did that is because, well, single reel, and not not, not single reel. I'm sorry. Um, is because four wheel drive and two wheel drive. Now this one right here, it has a front locker, but I'm not actually sure if it's four wheel drive or not. So. I gave it the front transfer case, but I'm not actually sure. Um, both doors open on interactive control. A couple of things inside the interior. Oh. 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 Sorry, I just realized what that. Yeah, you can turn your. That's about all the interior stuff does. Oh, and there's also the windows. Um. Um, is there any more things I should know? Oh, um, this right here. Yeah, I'm aware. I kind of somewhat have a fix. Kind of. But it'll, it, it, 
it'll be a few few updates before I fix that because it's not the easiest thing to fix. Um, and then now I guess I should go over some things about the mower. Um, actually, okay, so the first thing I'm going to note about the mower is, yes, the sounds are from the Kubota DLC. Pretty much, I was loading in the, oh, actually, that's another thing. This truck does have passenger. I'm not in multiplayer, so I can't show you it right now. But it does have passenger. So you can have your buddy ride in the... Buddy ride with you. It doesn't have any of the bed things like other people are doing. But yeah. So, I... I was loading in to test the passenger on that. And I got sidetracked, and I loaded in with something else to see how the passen See how the passenger worked and single play ah, but anyway and I heard the sounds on that little Kubota UTV and I thought that sounds an awful lot like a John Deere 430 which is a bigger version of this mower so I just said ah, I might as well because the sounds wasn't working for people zipped and unzipped and it, it was just a whole fi fiasco But not now I'm going to note some things about the mower. The mower is right here at $1,750 base price. That's about what a 318 is going for, which is what it starts out as. So, and then whenever you select 332, you get $2,500 added on to it. That's a little steep for a 332, I think, but it's physically amazing condition anyway, so, nah. But, oh, and that leads me to another thing. The 332 is proper this time. It does have the diesel badge, and then the 318 is also proper because it has doesn't have the diesel badge. Um, yes, the fuel cap. Now, now we'll get to this. Design color. Swap it to red for diesel. So if you select a 332, you swap it to the red color. And then the front front thing should say diesel on the three. Yeah. Um, so now I will just show you the options. Now, the regular seat and logo thing. I don't mess with that stuff because I prefer the look of the normal John Deere. But you can get um, the three-point, rear-mounted three-point. So if you just want to use it to mow your grass and pull around a yard cart, or something like that, you can do it set up like this, or bag, or whatever, or just snow plow and mow, or whatever, you get the point, um, and then you can get wheel weights, which, they're just wheel weights, I, they look, they make a tractor look a lot better, if you can figure it with the R4 tires, or the, or like this, and then put a plow behind it, and the mower deck, and maybe a front-mounted blade. It's kind of a little iffy. It looks so amazing. Uh, I'm just going to state it here. Best configuration and setup. So, yeah. So, that's pretty much all the information about the mower. You can get, yes, f funny name. Um, front loader attacher. This just makes it so you can attach the loader, which is somewhere in this general area. And then the engine setup, you can get the realistic. And then you can get the 22, the 22 um, kilometers per hour variant. And then you can get one with more power and torque and whatnot for more things. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know about the motor. I had a few of these things loaded in because I was going to show you how the truck pulls but I don't think I have time for that so it has the snow blade off of the um John Deere 110 four wheel drive um oh and it also has a snow blower but that it, it, 
it doesn't blow the snow, it just deletes the snow. It, eh. it, it, it did that. It, we don't talk about that. And then you have the yard cart and the decks and the loader and the tillers and the front mounted loader and the weights and the blade and the grass catcher. You get the point or the grass bagger. Get the point. Um, and then you have the 40. Tw oh. Sorry. That. It was. We don't talk about that. Um, but. Yeah. So now let me just go put on the front blade and take a look at that. S -s um, one of my testers did at one point find an issue with it where see see if I can't recruit. Yeah. Oh. See it like I, I don't know why there's a front attacher right there. I don't know what it does. But there is one. So you just kind of drive forward. And then this isn't a um, four four way blade. It's just a one way blade, just lower and raise. So yeah, but I mean, you still have you still can do what you want to do with a blade. So, um, actually, let me buy a goose snack. And then just buy a... Actually, what's the biggest tractor? Probably the 5020. Just, I'm just going to configure it the highest way I can. Curve radio. I'm just configuring it the highest way possible. Um, this one? Yep. Fold them. And these trucks, they are definitely very high poly, but for some reason they don't lag, like, at all. Like, I have three of them here, and I have a very moderate computer, and I can, and I'm stuttering, but I'm saying between, between 45 and 60. So, and I'm running high graphics plus shaders so that's a thing I'll just load this and then I'll show you how it drives with something on a trailer behind it it I had to set the weight the mass like very very low to get the sliding issue to somewhat fix so I was afraid it wouldn't take corners and stuff with the load very well but it it takes them perfectly fine it seems to well it's it's very hoppy on the rear with this on it I think it's something to do with the center of mass yeah see there it Whoa. Yeah, that weighted it down a good bit. But, yeah. So, that's pretty much the only things, or that's pretty much everything you need to know about this truck. Um, the file size is large, and I'm going to work at, one at some point to try and fix that and make it lower than 200. Try and make it lower than 150, but I'm not going to guarantee that at all. Because right now it sets at about 270. Zipped. But, yeah. Um. So. Um. Is there anything else? Um. Oh, shit. Um. Uh, no. So, pretty much this is the overview of this truck and everything you need to know about it. Two fifty. Um, but, oh, um, I should actually note, there is an option for a common swap. Not... And there's also the gasoline motors.
you can get an F-150 on the gasoline, which is just a little 351 gasoline. And then everything besides 150 on that is the same. And then on this, since it's a diesel, you can get the 250 and 350 only. Um, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, pretty much that's everything you need to know about this and the... This. Um. No, I don't need to say anything more. So, pretty much, I'm going to post them in, in the group. Today or tomorrow probably and the John Deere yeah oh, oh, okay a anyway um yeah that's pretty much everything you need to know about um it's pretty much everything you need to know about the John Deere 300 series and the 1986 Ford F-Series. Thanks 